rented another U-Haul truck for like the third time in a month. Gonna pick up some more Costco furniture. Luckily this truck is, or this Costco is local to our house. So we don't have to rush home or rush back to, to Home Depot to return the truck so we don't get overcharged. So we have a little bit of time to burn because it's literally across yeah, the street. Yeah, we're gonna get some samples. Um, or not. And then um, gonna look at some treadmills maybe. Um, if they had any treadmills, cardio stuff, because we have the truck already. Still haven't got our money back from Nordic Track. It's been about two months at least. Yeah, I, I would never we buy took my $2,500 immediately, and we refunded less than 24 hours, and it's been like fighting tooth and nail to try to get our money back. It's been two months, so that blows. So thinking about getting this matrix elliptical here. It's very silent, doesn't make a lot of noise. And then seeing if they'll work in a package deal if we get the treadmill too. Which this treadmill is small, but actually feels better. This pre-core one feels better than this bigger life fitness. And the incline handles are more comfortable as it goes to an incline. I just tested it out. Whereas this one, this one I felt hunched over with the handles. I felt like I was like a hunchback. It looks nicer, but believe it or not, this one feels better than the pre-core. So we're gonna see if we can get a deal on this one with the elliptical matrix. Doing a little shopping here for the home gym. All right. So here is one scoop of peanut butter protein added. So only 25 grams of protein. And then the weight control oats have seven grams of whey isolate, so 32. And it's flavored pretty intensely with the maple and brown sugar too. So 50 grams of carbs, 30 grams of pro 32 grams of protein. And then I'm gonna make my intro drink now too. Then we're gonna do some legs. Just got back from legs, guys, late Saturday night. Um, as you saw, I had oatmeal uh, pre-leg. Usually I have carbs or higher carbs on this on Saturdays. Um, it's late Saturday nine. I'm not really. I don't think I'm gonna go out tonight with Rachel. I do have some Thomas bagels, so I'm gonna pop in maybe a bagel or two right now. And then um, I've had some stomach issues too. I don't know if I had uh, undercooked chicken or turkey. I may have screwed up on my on my outside griddle and jumped the gun and ate a few bites that maybe had a little pink in them or something. But I've been going to the bathroom quite frequently, so I don't know about uh, heavy carbs today. I might just have a few bagels or whatever else i'll film it you know whatever i do have but yeah we're just doing a bagel now post workout so i've had 50 grams of carbs pre-workout you know i'll have another 50 to 100 right now so 150 so i don't think this saturday is going to be anything exciting i'm not going to touch ice cream either because my stomach's already torn up so i'm actually uh <clears throat> i had two packets of plain oatmeal again and i'm just dipping my bagel in the oats nothing fancy pretty boring Having this post workout, I had two scoops of isolate or a scoop and a half of isolate inside the two packets of oats. So, whatever. Am I? Uh, I'm gonna hit up the hot tub, get that going, soak the old knee and stretch out, and um, see what else I can eat. Remember, I do have these though. Regardless of the stomach, oh, good old cinnamon vanilla Lucky Charm. So, I might have to at least try those. Rachel already busted into them. Okay, I did some cute shit. I had an idea to mix a little bit of the crunchy uh, Lucky Charms and the soft oatmeal just for some texture. I swear to God, I'm not pregnant. That's like a weird craving, but I'm gonna try this right now and just mix the uh, the dried marshmallows with the hot oatmeal. A little, little, little bit of crunch to the oatmeal now. Bagels are done. Moving on to popcorn, 94% fat free. This is a half a bag. So it's only, there's actually only 24 grams of carbs. Um, pop secret, 94% fat free. Um, about a cup of rice with turkey. It's a basic normal diet meal. Onion bagel with fat free cheese. Dave's light killer bread with cheese. 24 grams of carbs. 
25 grams of carbs, so that's 50 yeah. plus 45, so like 95 grams of carbs here. <laughs> Rachel's being hilarious. <laughs> Not gonna film what she's doing. <laughs> and that's what I'm eating next. Uh, in the hot tub with MPA. All right guys, so, crap on my nose. I'm done with the popcorn, done with the bagels. Probably had about maybe 400 grams of carbs. Who knows? Throughout the whole day, I don't know. Anyway, my stomach, like I said, has been a little bit of a mess from potentially uncooked or not that well of cooked poultry. But this is nice. I've been coming into my hot tub uh, for the last four or five days and then stretching. Obviously your muscles are more pliable whenever you're hot, so it's been kind of nice, more motivating. I actually had some legit work done to me as far as like massage work. Um, not gonna lie, I really haven't in the past anything that's noteworthy. I've been going to like shitty chains like Massage Envy, other places like that, but I actually have a guy here, Chris Mahana, shout out to him. He trains at some of the gyms we go to and he knows ART, myofascial release, <clears throat> um, trigger point, stretches the crap out of you. I mean, he really, he worked on me for two hours and my goodness, that was the most thorough work I've ever had done. And my lap, my shoulder opened up a lot more. It was very noticeable. So I'm gonna start working with him hopefully weekly and uh, see how that works out. I won't get to work with him this week or this upcoming week because we go to Oregon. So I go to Oregon to see my mother, which I haven't seen in over a year. Uh, Rachel's <clears throat> grandmother who is like 90 something years old so we got to see her obviously and uh, we have a demo at Sports Nutrition Center for MPA SUPS as well so it's a, a busy week traveling uh, Thursday through Monday so anyway I'll do an update I guess for you guys right now on the DHB I don't know you know it's hard to say uh, exactly what's going on I'm my worst critic, so I don't feel much different. I feel like I don't really look much better than I did just on my normal TRT, but maybe I'm getting bigger and fuller a little bit. Uh, my body weight has increased. Um, 234 upon waking sometimes, 235, 236. So it's been 234, 236. Remember I started, it was like 230, 231. It's rainy. What the hell? What's going on here? Um... Yeah, I'll, uh, I, I, now remember my chest, I haven't done any direct chest work for over two months because of my right shoulder. So my upper body, I know the potential that it has. It could be a lot bigger and fuller if I was able to freaking lift some damn heavy dumbbells and barbells and stuff like I would like to do. So I've been doing a lot of pre-exhaustion and, um, giant sets, but nothing for chest. So I haven't touched my chest for literally two plus months with any significant weight in yeah, it's been a while, so my chest is flat and silly looking, but for uh, for all the variables, etc., uh, not doing so bad. I'm going to do blood work this upcoming week. It's been three weeks or more before the Arnold I started. I started the first shot after I did blood work, the day after blood work, whenever we took Rachel to the hospital for her intercostal tear or whatever she had. So that's been over three, three and a half weeks, so it should definitely be built up my blood enough to see if it's done anything to my lipids, to see if it's done anything with estrogen, etc. So we're going to do that this week. And uh, as bad as it sounds, you would hope that my blood works a little worse, which would indicate to me that the hormone is real. As bad as that sounds, usually when something's anabolic and works to build muscle, it'll have some downsides to it. If I was getting rounder and fuller and leaner without having any negative ramifications to my health, that'd be too good to be true. It sounds like a SARM. Of course, that is not the, not the case either with SARMs as we've discovered that those are also um, skewing blood work as well. So I'm gonna get blood work done. I'm crossing my fingers that this stuff is legit. Um, I'll do a DEXA scan probably, maybe first week of April. So that'll be like four or five weeks on. See if anything's changed there. And um, honestly guys, if, if here's the thing, if blood work's messed up, like scary messed up, I'll get off of it. If blood work is better, I'm gonna assume it's fake and probably get off of it and switch to something else. Um, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, so nothing, I can't really say anything guys about strength increase or anything like that because I'm so effed up with the fucking shoulder. 
it even hurts on like lat pull downs obviously you know you get your your um my shoulder tweaked a little bit for like lat pull downs and, and chin ups and stuff like that it hurts the shoulder too so i gotta be careful on back movements too um so i can't say anything about strength but you know i do feel maybe a little bit rounder a little bit more full I haven't used insulin or anything like that. Like I know I mentioned in one of the videos, like I might plug it in for intra workout or pre workout. Not going to do that. Uh, just doing what I said I'm doing, which is increase the G though from two to four. I use which you'd think I noticed something from that, but not really because I'm with myself every minute of every hour. So I'll um, I'll take some more pictures or a video and put it in this segment this week and see if I look any more. Of anything leaner or bigger or, or the same so but um yeah no side effects guys blood pressure is good uh really good of course i'm on medication but nonetheless it's 105 over 65 heart rates around 65 to 67 so <laughs> the dhb hasn't done anything weird to prostate knock on wood nothing weird to blood pressure so so far so good i just hope it's real legit stuff because that's what you want to do. You don't want to fucking waste your time, right? It's bullshit. All right, guys. I'm going to start stretching. Sunday. And we are running some errands. We're at the Summerlin Outdoor Mall, right? Wasting our time re-registering since Baby's Arrest is closing. We went to Bye Bye Baby. So, uh, I'm hungry. It's the past two hours, three hours. When I miss my every two-hour meal, I get that, that type of pre-contest irritability. So, we have a place called skinny fat so rachel looked up they have i wanted to go there for a while they have um healthy food and fat food skinny nothing fats. in between skinny skinny people <laughs> food and fat people food so we're going there right now and it's hopefully gonna work it's gonna have to work we called ahead so they have chicken breasts for we my boring ass here here's what it sandwich. looks like a little smiley face so we're gonna check it out I mean, I don't really care about a salad too much. It doesn't sound that great. All right, so we have some zucchini pasta, squash, eggplant. You can kind of see it. Two chicken breasts, teriyaki. Rachel over here, what'd you get, Rachel? Waffle. Is that really a protein waffle? Like yeah. Protein waffle, turkey berry bacon. compote, and agave syrup, and turkey bacon. That's great. And then a, I got a soup. Here's interesting. Some turmeric mustard. I'm going to try this out. If I like it, I'll buy it. Alright guys, so Rachel went out with her friend down in the strip. Dropped me off at a 24-hour fitness that's close to the strip. So I just got done training shoulders at a random 24-hour fitness. Um, worked out for about an hour and a half she's still doing stuff so I'm gonna go to this place sushi 21 but not get sushi I called and verified to make sure they have a white breast white meat cherry, chicken teriyaki because a lot of these places usually do brown meat so I confirmed on the phone let's see if it actually uh, transcends into real life here so we're gonna eat as a loner while I wait for my wife to pick me up at sushi 21 uh, on Tropicana near the Orleans Alright guys, they delivered. Looks like real chicken breast. Nice. And awesome music videos. Fantastic. <laughs> 